From climate research to medical science to alternative energy, supercomputers are the key to unlocking the answer to some of life's greatest challenges. What supercomputing gives is the ability to um, manage the complexity of the real world. Some of my favorite projects involve modeling the plasma inside a fusion reactor. This is like putting the energy of the sun in a magnetic bottle inside a room. There are many times where we can't uh, observe a system uh, at the scales that we, we need to, and so if we can establish a mathematical framework for that system and then that becomes the virtual world, uh, we can uh, explore using high-end, high-performance computing. Today, to be excellent in scientific research is really to be excellent in scientific computing. To further accelerate the goals of scientists, the U.S. Department of Energy has announced plans to build two new GPU-accelerated supercomputers, Sierra at Lawrence Livermore and Summit at Oak Ridge, home of the Titan supercomputer. So Summit will perform about five to ten times faster on applications than Titan does today. With the introduction of Summit, it's going to allow that frontier, that boundary of what you can do to be moved significantly. And when we move that, those boundaries, we expect that the quality of the science that we're doing, the knowledge that we're generating is going to improve accordingly. These enormous improvements are made possible by new technologies from NVIDIA and IBM. Summit's architecture is made of thousands of compute nodes. And these compute nodes are heterogeneous. They have different kinds of processors. It has the IBM Power Processor for latency optimized tasks. It has the NVIDIA GPU for throughput optimized tasks. It has the NVLink technology, faster, higher bandwidth communications technologies to integrate these into a powerful, large compute node that is Summit. NVLink is really one of the most critical technologies for the Summit system. NVLink is NVIDIA's high performance interconnection between the NVIDIA GPUs and the IBM power processors so that you can move data from one to the other at very, very high speeds. This is really terribly important for our users because the, the speed that you can move the data between the GPU and the CPU really uh, provides a, an upper bound on how much performance you can get out of the system. With these powerful new supercomputers, the Department of Energy is taking the lead in the pursuit of exascale computing. There's almost no end to the scientific problems where supercomputing gets deployed in areas like weather simulation, whether you're talking about extreme locality of forecast to long-range climate modeling, medical research, trying to find new drugs or understand disease. Any dimension of science where there's new theory, new exploration, these are areas where supercomputing is increasingly getting deployed as a third pillar of scientific discovery along with theory and experimentation. So they provide a tremendous benefit to us and to the entire country.